Hey y'all, it's time to spring forward and do some spring cleaning. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I do trailer park living in a trailer park in Tennessee. I take pride in my mobile home and I love to clean it. Even though I really hate cleaning, I like to take care of my mobile home. Today we're doing some spring cleaning. I don't normally do spring cleaning, so I had to kind of look up some charts and some checklists on Pinterest and I kind of just put a bunch together and made my own. There were some things I didn't do and I have good reason for it and I'll explain that when I get to that part. But first, we're raising some windows. Heck to the yes, it was daggone 40 degrees outside in Tennessee on the day that I decided to spring clean. <laughs> but it was able to keep the house cool and I didn't have to turn the air on or nothing. And y'all, I sweat. Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm very well insulated. I sweat at the drop of a hat. So I was sweating and needed that breeze anyway. I'm starting off getting my rugs out of this house. I'm ashamed to admit I have not cleaned this rug thoroughly since I bought it and I've had it for several months. I've never shampooed it or anything. So I decided to just take the furniture off first things first, take it outside, beat it up a little bit and then let it air dry because there were some, there were some funky looking stains on there. Also Tater wanted to go for a ride. <laughs> Y'all, she has no fear. <laughs> she she just is in it for whatever she, she's down for anything i said that i hadn't shampooed my carpets but i forgot to mention i haven't swept under them either they virtually haven't moved <laughs> so this was the mess that was left underneath it i also took the opportunity while i was going ahead and airing out my big rug to just air out this little one because it hasn't been cleaned either even though it was in the 40s that day it felt like it was in the 40s there were still kids surrounding my trailer that's how you know it's springtime in the trailer park when you start getting knocks on your door for a gogurt or something they'll be out there in 40 degrees i don't care if the sun's out they will be out there that's my kids included they were everywhere so i didn't want to show anybody's kids but bless johnny did they get a serenade of michael jackson's beat it while i was beating the far out of this carpet batter up batter up the trailer park's just like what the flip is marina doing today <laughs> oh you know Laura Ingalls' mom. I'm out here beating my rug. Ma, ma, the barn, barn's on fire. <laughs> ma, ma, the taxes are due. I told you nothing good would come from them city folk and their flying machines. So most of my neighbors in the trailer park, they know me by now, but we have some new ones that have moved in right across from this, and they were just looking at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> like, who is this? I left my rugs out there almost all day just to air dry. I knew I was going to carpet clean them when I brought them in, but they just really need it. Sometimes you just got to air it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to air it out. I took this time, I'm taking everything off the countertops, and you'll see later on when I put everything back, I don't put near as much back as what I took off because I, I had it all off and I was like man I really like my countertops bare and while I can't have them completely bare because that's just not functional I got rid of as much as I possibly could so that it looked more clear because I do already don't have enough counter space as it is like the counter space is very limited in this house and it makes cooking quite complicated but I did take off what I could just to have it more open and just to look more clean the more clutter I have on my countertops the more cluttered my kitchen seems like in a hole in general because I do have a, a pretty small kitchen I have a large dining room but when it comes to kitchen space it's really small so I just cleared everything off there so I could really get into the crevices and the corners of the countertop I also wiped down my cabinets I started cleaning spring cleaning on a Friday afternoon and I suggest you doing that if your husband is off weekends because then I had Shane to help me reach the spots that I couldn't reach because somebody is borrowing my ladder right now <laughs> so I don't have my trusty old reliable ladder so I had Shane kind of get the areas that I couldn't reach but I also took the time to clean off this overhead this overhead has been neglected for so long it looks horrible up in there like I was afraid touching it would give me tetanus that's how bad it is up in there so I'm, I'm thinking of doing something where the overhead is anyway uh, in the future but just not right now I've got an envelope going for it though I have an envelope system if you don't know what I'm talking about I do envelopes to for my home improvements and I do have an envelope going for that it's just kind of got a question mark on it because I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet I am wiping off the rest of the counter spaces and the just uh, the drawers over there I did this before I got to the dishes because I have medically diagnosed ADHD and I don't talk about it a lot on here because I don't want the ADHD to define me and I feel like when 
I start mentioning ADHD a lot, I can turn that kind of into an excuse. Now, it doesn't excuse the fact that I do have it and it is medically diagnosed. I just try to work with my brain without giving me myself an excuse like, oh, well, it's okay that I do it this way because I have ADHD. No, I just do it this way because it's easier for me, if that makes sense. So I try not to talk about my ADHD a lot. I make it known because if I didn't, I would have tons of people be like, what is up with this girl? <laughs> I have them already like, girl, your energy is everywhere. Or why are you jumping from subject to subject? I just can't help it. So I always try to make mention of the fact that I do have it, but I don't dwell on it. I'm using this method dish soap and the black one the black one is my favorite it smells so good and I'm just soaking the dishes that have nasty gunk crusted on them I also get a lot of questions as to why I wash my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher if I put them in the dishwasher like they are in this state right here nothing would come off it would be a wasted trip to the dishwasher because there would still be gunk on it when I got it out so I scrub them up real good and then just throw them in the dishwasher for good measure she sees that y'all because she is a clean freak <laughs> when it comes to animals she's like you can't even pet them and then not wash your hands before you touch her fridge or anything like she is a clean freak so when she sees that she's gonna be having a fit i told you tater had no fear though <laughs> she legit i found her in the dishwasher twice that day <laughs> I really put my drip pans through the wringer, so I'm soaking them in some super hot water and a lot of soap suds, and then I'm using these Brillo pads, or the Great Value soap pads. They work just as well as Brillo pads. I'm using those to kind of scrub them, and it takes a while to get that black stuff off, but I eventually get them off. I'm making a note to do this more often so that these don't get ruined like my old drip pans, because my old drip pans looked horrible horrible like there there was six inches of gunk on them that just it, it would never come off i'm using this brush to br to clean out my sink i use this rather than a sponge because a lot of you guys told me that it's cross contamination if you use the same sponge to clean your dishes with and then clean your sink with so i have this for separate cleaning when it comes to the sink itself i learn a lot from you guys i told you guys this channel is like my homemaking journey over everything you know I, I want to show the love of Jesus over everything. But besides that, this channel is really to document my life as a homemaker and my journey and my struggles and the things that I learn. I want it all documented so that when I get to feeling low on my homemaking skills, I can look back to my videos a year ago and see just how far I've come. And that's all the thanks to Jesus and all the thanks to you guys because you guys teach me something new every time. I tell you guys in the comments all the time, but y'all really really do teach me something new every single day. I'm using this green method. It's sea breeze and salt, I believe. It smells super strong, but it's a clean smell, like an airy smell. So I didn't mind using it with the windows raised, but it's one of the stronger method sprays, in my opinion. Nowhere near the antibacterial method sprays, but it's still pretty strong. I'm wiping down the counters over here, and then I also go in and wipe down the backsplash, just because I haven't given it a good wipe down in a while. I wipe down these cabinets too and I'm just doing it this way because my mind goes this way. I knew I wanted everything wiped down on the outside before I tackled the inside because here in a minute I start tackling the inside and any areas that aren't organized I go in and organize them.
few weeks ago, I did like a big declutter and organize in my kitchen. So a lot of the areas that the my paper said to organize, they were already previously organized. I just kind of had to revamp them and kind of refresh them up a little bit. But the, this cabinet was pretty much organized as well as my spice cabinet. My spice cabinet, as you can see here, some things were out of place, but for the most part, it was completely organized. My drawers were about the same. I just went in and kind of put everything that was a miss back into its spot and just got all my measuring cups together and in their place and everything like that. But for the most part, this stuff was pretty much still organized, which I'm proud of. <laughs> Down here is already organized. I did this when I did my last declutter and organized with me. Cleaned it out real good and got everything organized down here. I keep these little containers for my dishwashing pods and extra scrubbers, trash bags, cleaning wipes, odds and ends sprays, extra sprays, stuff like that. A bulk of my cleaning supplies is in my closet in my little cleaning supply hall area. It's where I keep my backups. But this is what I got going on. Always need this for stains. This is what I got going on in here. And it's already organized and everything. And then back there is my attachments for my carpet cleaner. As you can see, this <laughs> cabinet is everywhere and it almost always is just because at dinner time i'm usually always just quickly grabbing in here to get the pot or pan that i need and then when one of us puts it back in we just toss it back in there and play a game with it where we toss it and then we hurry up and close the door so it don't come flying back out at us <laughs> so this one is almost always needs to be organized it's a little bit difficult for me too because it's so deep and it's so like the there's no shelves in it and that's one thing i do i would like for shane to build for this cabinet i would like some shelves that way we just have that extra you know that extra platform to store stuff on and we're not just piling stuff on top of each other because you can only pile stuff on top of each other for so long before it just like falls over and that's exactly what it does every time we open these doors to get something it just all flies out and you have to kind of catch it before it hits the floor so i go in here and i just kind of put everything back into where it will fit honestly there's really no structure to it at all but the cabinet space is a little tricky to work with. I'm going to have Shane put some shelves in here when he has the time. Just so we have that extra platform to set stuff on and everything's not falling over. Listen, it ain't perfect, but everything has a home. It hasn't been long since I deep cleaned my oven, but when I did do that, I don't think that I took these little doohickeys off to clean underneath it, and I accidentally broke that one just now trying to, I like cracked it trying to get it off there, but so I don't remember doing that, so I just went in and cleaned underneath them. They weren't real bad underneath them or anything. I just did it to make myself feel better, honestly. The whole stove top and oven itself wasn't that bad. It was still a little dirty because it is my house, but it wasn't as bad as it would have been if I, I'm glad I went ahead when I did and cleaned this and did a deep cleaning on it because it would have been really bad it would have taken me three times as long to clean it out than it did this time i didn't pull my appliances out this go around and i know that's big when it comes to spring cleaning but i have some if you'll pay attention when you see me sweeping and mopping around the oven and my appliances i have some flooring issues there and before i can fix it i don't want to mess with it because it's just going to further pull up the floor even more so it is on my list for the next few weeks to get that tackled and to just redo the floor underneath all the appliances that way we don't pull it out and make a bigger mess than what we have to clean up so i'll be sure to clean up and show you guys me cleaning up behind the appliances when we do go in and replace that floor deep down i know you want it you want to take a leap and jump in uh, uh oh we're gonna fall in love you get this feeling wouldn't it be awesome if you just kiss me slowly and hand me in your arms oh, you make me okay let's go out when i see you through hey, like me out i love when you're gonna like that oh hey could be us cause i'm in the moonlight oh hey 
same thing with my freezer and my fridge. It hasn't been long since I've cleaned them last and I've went through them. So what I'm really doing is just checking for dates and then going down and wiping it down with a Clorox wipe. It, there wasn't much I had to get rid of from my freezer on this side of the fridge, but this side of the fridge, there was a lot that I had to go through and I found some questionable things. I didn't have to wash out my bins on the bottom though because I found moldy strawberries in there the other day and I had to wash them out regardless. So that was done just, I think, three or four days ago. So I didn't have to do this, but I did still go in and check dates on everything and then wipe it down with a Clorox wipe. my calendar on last month i usually don't ever switch my ca my calendar over to the next month until halfway through that month it's just i don't know i have a hard time remembering to do that even with my planners so i'm just going through here and getting rid of all the stuff that needs to be got out of there there was a ton of things that were expired which makes me sick to my stomach but it's just a lesson learned and let me remind you guys please rotate your food otherwise it's going to be so much wasted food and so much wasted money all of this expired Lesson learned, rotate your pantry. And it makes you feel icky when that happens. I feel icky when that happens every single time. And then Shane went through the cans, what, a month ago? Yeah. And checked expiration dates. I rotated, so that's, I rotated He rotated all those. You should be in charge of rotating the pantry. I was trying to do reverse psychology there and look excited about it and give him that job because I hate that job. You, should, you would be so good at rotating the pantry shame <laughs> it didn't work though so i'm making a mental note uh, i know it's going to be gone like a fart in the wind by next week but i'm making a mental note to make sure and at least monthly go through my cabinets and just check for expiration dates make sure nothing's out of date or nothing's about to go out of date and if it is move it to the front it's easy it sounds like a lot of work but it's really worth it when you think about the amount of people that would love to have the food that you threw out and that it punches me like a big old punch in the gut every single time so i'm definitely going to be going through that monthly and i'll probably be showing you guys a lot of that to keep me motivated to do it because it, it's very important that i do that and i give what's about to go out of date if i know i'm not going to eat it Because A, it's gross inside. I don't have a water hose. But secondly, my dad, my dad gave me one out of his shop though. So we're gonna try that one out. I really want, I really like it, so he gave it to me. Look how dirty it is! I need to clean it up real good though. Tonight, we're gonna have some Right. Man, even that shop trash can is cleaner than ours. Like our house trash can. I can't. 
can't quite explain the feeling that I felt when I opened it up and realized that my dad's backer can, that his tobacco can, that's the can in his shop that he spit his tobacco in, is cleaner than the trash can in my house. <laughs> I can't quite explain that feeling, but I was just like, okay, all right, I need to step up my game on my trash can taking care of abilities. I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm just, I'm speechless and I'm not speechless very often, but I'm speechless. cleaning the windows here and I, my kids were outside playing I could hear them playing because I had the windows raised still raised for a minute and they were doing cartwheels with the neighbor kids and I had a few of them over to the side playing tag and I just remember hearing their laughs and stopping for a minute and like mentally assessing like where I'm at and being so grateful for the fact that I'm in here cleaning my tail off sweating absolutely <laughs> I was pretty much over the cleaning by now but knowing that my kiddos out there I'm making their home clean and I we have somewhere to lay our head you know to go to sleep that night and it's a clean space and there was just something about it that made me stop and realize like how fortunate how what an honor it is to be a mother in, in the home and to take care of your kids it's an honor and I feel like it's a privilege denied to many so I really took that time to just be grateful just to be thankful for the laughs in the background for the little feet running by the window just to be grateful for it all because it's not all easy it's not all sunshine and rainbows but it is the biggest honor as a mother your biggest honor honor will always be to parent your child, to be the parent that your child needs, to be a godly influence, to be a good, kind person. That's that's the biggest honor of a lifetime, in my opinion. Adding a little bit of uh, dish soap, a squirt of alcohol. These are the downy refresh ones in the <laughs> Burst water and botanicals. Now, normally I wouldn't use this concoction. I would just use carpet shampoo, but I didn't have any on hand. So I just quickly made up a little concoction that I thought would clean it and make it smell good. much lint. Hi, babe. Sorry. All the lint's making chain sneeze. Look how much lint came off that one rug alone. That is insane. Much like the rest of the odds and ends areas in my kitchen that had already been organized, it hadn't been a long time since I organized my pantry. So I just kind of went through, put everything that was not in its home in its home and wiped it down with Clorox wipe and got rid of all the expired stuff and was done with it.
It's only been a little bit since we've installed these baseboards. I still have to do the caulking on them, but I still wanted to wipe them down just for good measure because I could see there was a few scuffs on them here and there. So I just wiped them down real good. Got the whole area cleared off of all my cleaning supplies. I had cleaning supplies everywhere. I got the area cleared off and then I'm going in and I'm just wiping down the countertop and I'm wiping down the chairs as well. I do need to go back and wipe down my kitchen table chairs because I haven't done that in a while. I try to do that anyway every once in a while just because I, I have kids and you know their food will get on there even adults accidentally get food on chairs so I need to go back in and do that but I just took the moment to wipe down everything that hadn't been wiped down these shelves included and was done with it like I said I really wanted to pull out the appliance appliances but I didn't want to mess up the flooring even further so when I go in to fix the flooring I'll be sure to pull those out but it is spick and span in here every corner crevice everything was tackled all right y'all one room down so many more to go but we're doing this at a realistic speed i'm not burning myself out on spring cleaning because if i do that then i'm going to be burnt out on clearing cleaning period and then i'm not going to want to clean at all so we're taking it slow i hope this motivated you to get your kitchen tackled y'all go out there and do the daggone thing i hope you have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later